Hello everyone, welcome to the December edition of the Rector's Blog. We are in the final month of the year and we are very excited for the last few days at school, particularly for our eagerly anticipated holiday celebration, which will offer us opportunities to promote our campaign of inclusion and diversity by celebrating and recognising different celebrations and cultures that are represented in this school and beyond, including Christmas, Hanukkah, Magali and plenty more. The end of the year is an excellent opportunity for reflection, looking back and considering what has gone well, what could be better, and strategies to implement for us to improve. In this month's edition of the Rector's Blog, we'll be meeting our directors, early years and primary, secondary, wellbeing and community, as well as administration and finance. who will be giving us an overview of our progress in this academic year to date and what we have to look forward to. Today, I'd like to share with you some of the most recent events that have happened in the early years and primary section and those that are coming up. Every week, we have amazing things that are happening. However, in order to capitalize on student agency, why not let our students tell you instead? In our first unit, we had a STEAM fair where we share wonderful projects made with recycled materials. We learn about properties. We also learn about solid chips with researchers with them. In our unit, Let's Celebrate Life, we're going to work on a STEAM project. We will build a bird nest. STEAM is important for us because we learn how to solve problems and develop our critical thinking skills. Remember, with STEAM we are being the change. The school has been celebrating the Dignity and Mutual Respect Week, in which we had the opportunity to review and also create some essential agreements to foster the well-being in all the community members. The second year of Tasman Junior happened in November. The high school students trained the first grade students about how to find good sources, investigate and summarize information. The topic for this year, Tasman Junior, is gender equality. This means men and women should have equal opportunities in every area of life. Once again this year, four graders are collecting gifts for staff members of this community. Each class has been assigned a few staff members to get gifts for. Thank you, test staff. We look forward to sharing events in our section with you in the future. See you soon! As we are nearing our uh, winter holidays, I would like to take this opportunity and share with you what we have done from the Comprehensive Culture of Excellence in the secondary section. To start off with, our students have worked very hard in their uh, student-led committees inside every classroom. They have also started working, especially the uh, grade 9 and grade 11, in their mock exams and the ICFES preparations. We have also made some very interesting connections with the universities, top universities in Colombia and also abroad, especially in Spain and in the US. From the Department of CAS and Service in Action, we have uh, already started making some field trips for the students with a very strong uh, academic component. The field trips are not only going to be um, focusing on the service in our community, but also in the surrounding uh, society. We have also had the opportunity to work with our students and students from France to develop their French language abilities. We have, we have also successfully reduced the amount of uh, tardiness and also absences in our students' lists. Uh, for the next coming months, the ICFES exams, the MYP and the DP exams, as well as the ACER ISA exams. The students have also started working in their arts portfolio which is part of their um, IB curriculum. And also look out for the student-initiated science fair that is coming up very soon. Students also will have a great opportunity for cultural exposure uh, in the coming months as well. So we have an exciting uh, year ahead and uh, I wish you and your family a very happy holidays. Bye. We 
reaching the midpoint in our school year with very interesting achievements in how our community develops and grows. We celebrated our English month, the test birthday. We celebrated, we are wrapping up on our health month with initiatives that go towards nutrition, physical health, physical activity, and men's health specifically, like my mustache for Movember. We have had interesting activities that help us bond, grow, and also collect funds in different ways. We celebrated love and friendship, we celebrated uh, Halloween, and we will hold our holiday celebration next uh, December 7th. These are all opportunities to grow as a community, to interact with others, and to show that we are a kind, respectful community committed with embracing diversity and intercultural learning. We have also made interesting connections in the part of child protection, updating all of our staff in the policy procedures and elements that need to be taken into careful attention to care for all of our students and everyone in our community. For next semester, we have very important events planned. We will continue growing in experiences, have field trips and opportunities to go abroad. We will also host many activities that will lead in international mindset and intercultural learning, like our cultural week and our languages week. We will continue to grow and we want to celebrate and thank all of you that have been actively involved in this process and we invite you to keep contributing to the formation of this incredible family that is TESS. Este ha sido un año lleno de retos y cambios en el entorno que gracias al apoyo de ustedes y al trabajo del equipo humano del colegio hemos logrado sortear con éxito. Durante este tiempo hemos cohesionado equipos de trabajo y ajustado procesos para responder de una mejor manera a estas nuevas realidades. Estamos seguros que el año entrante seguiremos por esta senda de ajustes y mejora continua para poder prestar un mejor servicio a nuestra comunidad. Aprovecho la oportunidad para desearles unas felices fiestas de fin de año en compañía de sus familias. That's all from the Rector's blog for this month and this year. I would like to thank you all individually and collectively for everything you've done for the school and helping us to continue to develop, grow and improve. We hope you enjoy the upcoming holidays with friends and family and you have a well-deserved rest. Whether you stay in Bogota or travel further afield, take care, stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you in 2023 to continue our journey together. Many thanks and see you soon.